Hello, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford getting you a tropical update in July. We're looking into this week in July, looking at nothing really happening as far as the tropics go in the Atlantic Basin. We've had those three named storms so far this hurricane season, and right now we really have nothing on the horizon. When we look across the Atlantic Basin, all you can see really is a very weak uh, wave right here across the midsection of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, other than that, everything looking quiet. No other waves coming off, at least at this point, anytime soon off the coast of Africa. Eventually, of course, that keeps happening. Those what we call African easterly waves start to move across the ocean uh, from Africa across the Atlantic over toward either the Caribbean or the South America area or, uh, you know, sometimes a little bit farther north than that. But right now we don't really have anything heading that way and nothing really happening right now, as you can see in the Caribbean Sea or in the Gulf of Mexico as far as any tropical sort of threats. So just looking quickly at what we've had so far this season in 2022, we've had Alex, Bonnie and Colin. We've been saying the next names are Danielle, Earl and Fiona but no sign of any of them showing up anytime soon. So most of us will take that as we look at our forecast. Remember, NOAA has been forecasting 14 to 21 named storms, uh, hurricanes. They are saying six to 10 for the whole season and major hurricanes between three and six. Colorado State University just to throw out a couple of other forecasts for this season, also going above average and note the average would be 14 named storms seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes. So if the forecasts hold true, which we're thinking probably will happen just because of the different elements happening, uh, the sea surface temperatures and the La Nina conditions continuing, it does look like this could be eventually an active season. Although, of course, even in an active season, you can get big lulls. Last season, we had 21 named storms, but we had a big blank spot from kind of early uh, July all the way into the month of August. So we did have a, a long period where we weren't really seeing a lot of action. So that certainly happens even in above average seasons. Looking quickly at the percentage of storms that form by month. This is looking back since 1851 at the uh, number of storms that are forming in hurricane season in the Atlantic and just kind of dividing it up to how many per, you know, what percentage is it uh, that forms per month. Note that in June and July, we get about 12% with those two months com combined, and then it shoots up to 21% of the storms form in August and a huge third, more than a third of the storms form in September. So of course we know here in South Louisiana, along the Gulf Coast, uh, along the East Coast, we know that uh, it's typically activity tends to pick up, especially during late July and August, and then it reaches its peak on the date of September 10th. So we'll be looking for that. Now, once we get to October and November, there's still form, uh, plenty of storms that form, especially in early October. Uh, but by that point, even along the Gulf Coast, sometimes we're already getting cold fronts to help us out. So even if they form somewhere out in the Atlantic, we often have the benefit of a cold front or some sort of weather system that is starting to change as we get into fall and certainly into November, where the cold front sometimes kind of move through and shield us from tropical threats, even if there are tropical storms or other disturbances out there. So just a little something to think about once we get to that late point in the season, of course, right now still in July, so still have a lot of the season to get through. By the way, if you're curious about May and December, very occasionally something will happen in those months. Um, especially in December, but in May we have had some early season storms lately, uh, especially the past couple of years. So 1% of storms about form in May and in December. So that'll do it for now. Thankfully, nothing to talk about as far as any uh, threats go. Just kind of taking an overview of the season. That's what we're expecting. We'll leave you for now. You can always find out more on our newscast on Eyewitness News at WWLTV.com and on our app.